Hello, everyone. Uh, I want to share a little story with you today. It's the story of how I got ChatGPT to order for me at a restaurant. Um, it's a fun little story. I think it shows how capable ChatGPT is, and maybe it could inspire you to find more uses for this model. I use it for pretty much everything. Um, my kids and my husband joke about it. By now, I get up in the morning, I talk to ChatGPT. Uh, what can you do? So uh, let's jump into this story uh, about the AI power dining experience. And before we do, I just wanted to say that if you enjoy this video, if you like the concept of finding out more about how to use AI in your everyday life, I go very welcome to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Okay, so how did it all start? Uh, we were hanging out with friends and they suggested that we go out to a restaurant, which, you know, this is nice, but they are foodies. They know a lot about food here in the area. Um, we're near Chicago and they suggested a fish and seafood restaurant. And the problem is that I'm not really... Um, a foodie and I don't like seafood and fish I'm like mm, salmon here and there maybe occasionally not really uh, more than that and of course what I did was to fire up my chat GPT app and ask for advice from the AI and this is how I did it um by the way, this image and the one before it and the one the, the other ones here in this uh, slideshow, they're all by ChatGPT. So this is ChatGPT using DALI um, to create images based on the story that I shared with it. And anyway, I just sent this message to ChatGPT. I said, here I am. I'm on my way to a restaurant. It's a seafood and fish restaurant, but I am not a huge fish fan. So what do I order when I get to that restaurant? And ChatGPT was happy to help. It's always happy to help. ChatGPT at first suggested that maybe I could find other dishes in that restaurant. Maybe I could go for pasta or chicken or maybe just something with salmon. But um, I wasn't very keen on that idea because, you know, this is a chef restaurant and they specialize in fish and seafood. So I probably should try something different. Um, did not make sense to me to order chicken and pasta in a seafood restaurant. Um, and I explained as much to ChatGPT. And then the next suggestion was, okay, let's go with a classic. Let's go with fish and chips. Hmm. I wasn't really in the mood for anything fried and like fish and chips. And it's kind of, you know, kind of meh. Like I wanted something more special than that. So um, again, I go back to ChatGPT and I tell it as much. And say, okay, I want to try something new i don't want salmon i don't want something that isn't fish so what kind of fish can i order that would be you know would be something that i like based on my preference for uh salmon and so chat gpt had two ideas it thought i should try halibut or mahi mahi and it described both of them in terms of the texture and the flavors and i said okay which you know of these two options which one should i choose and i added that i i like the idea of firm texture for the fish but i don't want a super strong fishy flavor and chat gpt said if that's the case let's go with the halibut um it has the firm texture but the, the flavor is mild and not very fishy so we got to the restaurant and at the restaurant i was you know, had this menu in my hand. This is just one page from the menu. Lots of text, very busy kind of menu, very busy kind of restaurant. So I just took a picture and uploaded this image of the the page in the menu that had all the fish dishes. And I uploaded that to ChatGPT. And I said, okay, this is the menu. I'm here. What would you recommend? And ChatGPT took a look at the menu and said, okay, there's a halibut fish um, dish here that you might like, but I wasn't sure because it, you know, it sounded something very possibly spicy and just sort of adventurous in terms of flavor. 
And so in the end, ChatGPT said, if that's the case, let's keep it simple and let's go with a charbroiled halibut. And this is th this was the choice um, that it made for me, it described the fish. I said, okay, this sounds good. And this was the dish that I ordered. And when I, I wrapped up the conversation and I said, thank you very much for your help. And I said, if I don't like it, can I ask OpenAI to refund the price of my dinner? Because you know, you you pay you chose the 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 dish for me, Chat GPT. I think OpenAI should be responsible for uh paying for it in case I don't I didn't like it. And I did not add an emoji or an LOL or a wink or anything to signify that this was a joke, which of course it was. But Chat GPT got it. Anyway, I didn't didn't need to add anything. And it responded with, aha, ha, I'm happy to, I'm glad to have helped with the decision. And although I can't pitch in for dinner, I'm really hoping you'll enjoy your meal. And I really like the fact that it showed this kind of sense of humor about it. And it, you know, it, it got the joke even without me having to spell it out for it. And I wanted to add just one more slide to show you what happened when I used Bing, Bing, B-I-N-G, the Microsoft chatbot. And Bing is actually operated by GPT-4, the same as my chat GPT. I use chat GPT with a paid version, always with GPT-4. But Bing has a slightly different personality. So the persona that the AI is showing, is, is it depends on how it's been programmed to respond. And Bing is just a little bit different. And I'm not a huge fan of that Bing personality. And first of all, Bing had a different choice for me. Bing thought I should have a swordfish steak, but I don't trust Bing. Don't tell it, but I don't really trust it very much. So... Um, when I wrapped up that conversation, I said, if I didn't like it, I'm going to ask Microsoft for a refund. Same kind of joke, right? And I said joking because I knew that that Bing does not typically have a very good sense of humor. But even though I told it it was a joke, it responded with, don't worry, I'm sure you won't need a refund, but if you do, you can always contact Microsoft customer service. They are very helpful and friendly. Hmm. So uh, it did add a winking emoji, but I suspect that all of these emojis, there were multiple emojis in that text message, and they, I think they were all in response to the fact that I clearly stated that this was a joke. Nonetheless, its text response was not like it didn't really, I don't know if it didn't get the joke as much as it never allowed itself to sort of let go um, and be kind of more conversational and, and you know, light, uh, keep the, the mood light. And um, whereas Chad GPT felt very comfortable getting into the, you know, lighthearted mood, being as soon as I mentioned, I guess, Microsoft and a refund together, it felt the need to be very kind of official. Um, and that's it. That's, that's my story about how, how I ordered uh, at a restaurant with the help of GPT. And of course, I had to show you uh, the dish. This this is the halibut that GPT chose for me. And uh, I'm happy to say that it was delicious. And no need for refunds from OpenAI or anybody else. A great restaurant uh, and a great dish. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this little story. I hope it inspires you to try ChatGPT for yourself um, and see what kind of problems it can help you solve in your daily lives. And if you have any stories to share, any stories of your own, please do. I'm eager to hear them. If you want to read more about my chat gpt fish story uh, it's also available on my blog as a blog post i'll leave a uh, link in the description below and uh, the blog is ai greets g r e e t s dot com ai greets as in greetings take me to your leader and uh, you're welcome to visit that blog and get, find out more about stuff that i write about ai 
And uh, again, if you enjoyed this, if you are still with me on this video, please do like the video and hit subscribe. It would help me grow this channel. Thank you.